Hello my dear visitors, visitors of LELB Society at LELB.net In this vocabulary uh, lesson we are going to focus on unit uh, 60, uh, 36 of this great course book 504 absolutely essential words So I'm going to teach you this vocabulary lesson So please pay attention to the text and the sentences. There are a lot of uh, vocabulary items that are discussed in this lesson. Okay, words in context. Uh, let me increase magnification. Okay, the first word is prompt. Prompt as an adjective means fast, rapid, quick, uh, and hasty. And also, uh, it could be used as an adverb in a uh, in the form of promptly and as a verb it means to cause somebody to do something to uh, expedite and uh, also let me also give you some expedite okay um, all right to uh, someone to do something remind someone of uh, of the words or actions needed okay sentences be prompt in assembling your baggage which means uh, be hasty be quick shake a leg it's an idiom shake a leg means hurry up sentence B Terry's caution or carefulness prompted him to ask many questions before he consented consented consent means uh, to agree to agree on something to uh, just see eye to eye and to show your uh, eagerness or agreement three Larry was confident he knew his lines well enough not to need any prompting so uh, Larry was secure, was positive that he knew his lines, perhaps actually some verses that he wanted to just uh, recite in a, in a performance. Uh, well enough means uh, in a very good way and uh, uh, accurate and precise way. Not to need any prompting or any reminding. Here prompt means remind okay so uh, word two hasty hasty and also the the verb is hasten mm. hasten uh, it means very quick and with hurry h-u-r-r-y quick hurried not well thought of thought out it means not um, considered enough not uh, thought about okay for example a hasty decision a hasty glance convinced him that he was being followed glance or glimpse means a short look a hasty and casual uh, glance or look at something convinced him or proved it to him proved him that he was being chased or followed B rather than make a hasty decision Mr. Torres rejected the, the offer rather than means instead of Okay, instead of making a hasty decision, instead of making a snap decision, for a hasty decision, you can say rash decision, snap decision. Uh, Mr. Torres rejected the offer, so he did not comply with that, with the uh, consensus or agreement. And remember, after rather than, uh, some uh, English students make this mistake that they use actually a gerund but it should not be a gerund rather than actually is an exception so after that you need to have an infinitive it means bare infinitive simple form of the verb C 
Mira or Myra, I'm not sure it's a proper name, apologized for the hasty visit. So this person, I'm not even sure uh, if it is a boy or a girl, apologized or made an apology, made an apology for the hasty visit, for the unplanned and let's say fast and uh, snap visit. We say make an apology or and also apologize uh, uh, for something to somebody. Okay. And uh, let me see. Scorch. Scorch means to burn or burn out, burn slightly, dry up. Up here means completely or criticize sharply. Criticize uh, actually means reprimand, reprimand, American English, and reprimand, British English, or castigate. Throw, throw the book at somebody means criticize. The hot iron scorched the tablecloth. Uh, iron is a, uh, let's say, instrument for pressing your clothes. So some uh, people make this uh, mistake in pronunciation. They, they call it or they pronounce it as iron, but it is iron. Scorched the tablecloth. Tablecloth actually is a piece of cloth that you cover the table with. Sentence B. Farmers reported that their wheat was being scorched scorched by the fierce rays of the sun so they reported farmers reported that their wheat as a kind of cereal like uh, rice was being scorched here means dried out dehydrated and actually not being useful anymore by the fierce means a strong rays or beams rays or beams of sunshine Okay, sentence C. Mr. Reagan gave the class a scorching lecture. As you can see, lecture. Hold on. Uh, yeah, here it is. Okay, so on uh, our website, uh, there are some important words with hyperlinks and if you just hover the uh, cursor of your mouse on them some relevant photos actually will pop up and they can help you to uh, actually uh, learn words better for example disrupt and jest you see patience adequate juvenile reveal okay so these can uh, help you to remember words better uh, with illustrations careful illustrations okay let me see so uh, mr. Reagan gave the class a scorching lecture so it means that he criticized the students on proper behavior in the cafeteria. Uh, so because actually they did not have proper behavior, they did not, they were not on their best behavior in the cafeteria. So he wanted to be uh, on their best behavior. And uh, number four, tempest. Let me again increase magnification. Okay. Uh, tempest means a very strong and violent storm hurricane and tornadoes and a violent storm with much wind a violent disturbance also disturbance so a chaos tempest means chaos also it has two basic meanings sentence a the tempest drove the ship on the rocks because generally ships navigate through the sea or water but because of the tempest or strong actually wind or uh, storm uh, the ship just went through the rocks 
which is rather unusual. Sentence B, following the weather report of the approaching tempest. Approaching means getting closer and closer. So it was imminent. It means likely to happen. We were prompted. We were stimulated. We were actually forced to seek immediate shelter. So it was necessary for us to locate as a place of saf safety, place of safety, shelter. Okay. When Mr. Mr. Couch saw that a tempest was brewing over their issue, uh, he hastily called a meeting. So here tempest does not mean storm. It means chaos. It means un pleasant uh, let's say catastrophe or disaster you know uh, something that you did not plan for mr. cow saw that a tempest was was brewing was brewing means actually was about to happen uh, particularly to be plus brewing means something that is likely to happen imminent over the issue or the problem he hastily rapidly called a meeting so he called their staff to have a meeting in preparation for their problem or issue that was brewing soothe number five soothe means to quiet to calm to comfort to relax you know to pacify with an embrace uh, with an embrace means hugging or embracing or cuddling the mother soothed the hurt child uh, the child was physically or mentally hurt particularly it seems to be physical and uh, actually the mother just uh, cuddled uh, him or her we are not sure cuddled or hugged the child to pacify him okay heat soothe some uh, aches and cold soothes others yeah it depends um, on the aches or pain ache means pain so heat uh, relieves some pains and cold relieves others rosalie's nerves were soothed by the soft music uh, so uh, Rosalie's nerves so she became relaxed she relaxed herself she became uh, appeased also you can say with the help of the soothing effect of the music soothing effect of the music all right uh, number six sympathetic sympathetic is an adjective and the noun form is sympathy you know pethy means in latin means feeling and sim means together so it means that you show your feelings to somebody else who is in misery having or showing kind feelings toward others or approving enjoying the same thing and getting along with oh getting along well together yeah there is another word that is very close to this to sympathy that is empathy empathy e m p a t h y it means the ability to put yourself in the position of others that i believe to be more mature than sympathy sentence a judge cross cross i don't know was sympathetic to the lawyer's plea for mercy judge cross was uh, sympathetic or expressing sympathy to the lawyer's plea means a strong request for mercy or compassion father was fortunately sympathetic to my request to use the car on weekends so he just let me use the car on weekends no strings attached Generally, fathers are rather strict about it. Uh, so he became sympathetic to me, to my request. Sentence C. We were all sympathetic to Susan. 
over her recent misfortune. So we expressed our sympathy and condolences, perhaps, and we wanted to share uh, or relieve her in the face of problems and misfortune or bad luck. Redeem. Redeem means buy back, pay off, carry out, set free, make up for, or compensate. Let me write it down here. Compensate for means actually to try to uh, do something so that the loss that has been made uh, is made up for. Okay. To recover the loss that has been made. Sentence A. The property on which money has been lent is redeemed when the loan is paid back. The property on which money has been lent. Lent is the past participle form of lend, which is the opposite of borrow, B-O-R-R-O-W. So if you lend, uh, actually lend somebody some money, the person actually is supposed to uh, redeem it and pay it back and loan is almost the same meaning with uh, here we have mortgage remember that T is not pronounced here mortgage mm, my family was relieved or let's say soothed relieve is the same as soothe to hear that to notice that the mortgage had been redeemed it means it had uh, it was paid back or paid off completely and it was such a relieving piece of news C Mr. Franklin uh, promptly redeemed his promise to help us in time of need Mr. Franklin promptly means hastily and quickly quickly redeemed his promise it means uh, actually put his promise into action because uh, when you make a promise you need to just uh, uh, actually follow it and fulfill it and uh, not break it because some people make promises and then actually they leave you high and dry but uh, he as he already stated helped us in time of need or in the face of problems in english we say a friend uh, in need is a friend indeed it means that a true friend is one who helps you when you are in trouble okay number eight resume resume as a verb means to start again because re means again okay so resume means to do something again after it has been interrupted begin again go on take again and remember after resume you need to have a gerund that's why we have here reading and also here playing okay resume reading where we left off for example we just uh, uh, the same uh, pursuit that we are um, engaged in i mean reading the lines here on 504 absolutely essential words and uh, then i forgot where i was uh, reading or following and then we should just uh, get back to the exact place that we covered so resume reading where we left off those standing may resume their seats here the original sentence uh, has been something like this those who are standing those who are pedestrians, those who are on their feet, may resume their seats, may be seated again, may actually sit down. Okay. The violinist resumed playing after the intermission. Intermission is a gap for interval uh, in a concert. Another meaning of that is interlude. I N T E R L U D E. So he mm, 
just uh, played again after an interval number nine harmony situation of getting on well together or going well together harmony is a very simple word uh, sweet or uh, musical sound yeah it's a kind of order you know that you maintain sentence a we hoped the incident would not disrupt the harmony that existed between their brothers uh, we just hoped that the incident or accident or event would not disrupt or interrupt the harmony or order or peace that existed between the brothers actually and their brotherhood or fraternity fraternity let me okay uh, fraternity means brotherhood let me see fraternity or cooperation figuratively <coughs> Sentence B. I am sympathetic to Warren because his plans are in harmony with mine. Yeah, because you know in English we say birds of a feather flock together. It means that if you have something in common, you happen to be harmonious with each other. Harmonious actually is the adjective form. Sentence uh, C. We responded to the harmony of the song by humming along we responded to respond needs a preposition as to respond to means reply to answer but as an as, as an as a verb answer does not have to answer has to when it is used as a noun to the harmony of the song by humming along such as Mm, but for example when you do not know the exact lyrics of a song but you know the melody you just follow the melody like this you do not verbalize any uh, words utterly okay uh, refrain refrain as a verb means hold back drive back refute reject and remember it has a preposition that is from refrain from making hasty promises so if you are not sure about the consequences do not make a promise on that because uh, in English we say promise the moon promise the earth promise the Sun it means when you make some promises but you do not what you're not sure whether whether or not you can just fulfill them whether, whether we can make or keep them because when you make a promise you should keep the promise okay uh, Milo could not refrain from laughing at the jest so it was difficult for uh, him or her I not I don't know to just uh, be neutral to the jest or joke or a quip Q U I P because it was so uh, hilarious and so he couldn't uh, stop laughing at it he couldn't help laughing at it pay attention to this structure he couldn't laugh he couldn't help laughing at it he couldn't stop laughing at it okay uh, if you want to be heard you must refrain from mumbling if you want others to hear you remember there's a difference between hear and listen listen to has something to do with attention you listen to music you don't hear music uh, but here does not necessarily involve active attention or let's say selective attention mumble when you mumble it means when you utter some words in a in low volume so that others cannot hear it well it means mutter m-u-t-t-e-r m-u-t-t-e-r or murmur m-u-r-m-u-r okay illegal illegal sorry illegal number 11 means not legal means unlawful not lawful against the law it is illegal to reveal or to show the names of juvenile delinquents means young criminals you should not reveal 
actually or show their identities bigamy means having two or more wives or husbands spouses is illegal in the united states mr worthington's illegal stock manipulations led to his jail sentence uh, his unlawful stock manipulations or controlling in a negative way uh, of some uh, supply of goods or merchandise you know stock supply of something led to means resulted in ended in his jail or prison or imprisonment sentence as a kind of retribution let me write retribution retribution or punishment sentence okay we have life imprisonment it means a person a convict is supposed to be imprisoned uh, till the end of his life and the last word is narcotic means drug that produces drowsiness or sleep sleepiness okay uh, and drowsiness or dullness or sleep or dullness it means numbness you don't have any particular sense you don't feel alert or an insensible or illogical condition and lesson lesson here is an uh, is a verb it means to make something less or reduce pain by dulling the nerves dull as a verb remember it means deaden d-e-a-d-e-n deaden to make something dead to make something numb to dampen d-a-m-p-e-n the nerves opium is a very uh, strong narcotic pro material is a powerful narcotic why don't you have adequate or sufficient knowledge of the narcotic properties of these substances or materials I'm sorry we we don't have adequate or sufficient knowledge we don't have enough information about the narcotic pro properties or elements or characteristics of these materials the doctor prescribed a narcotic medicine narcotic medicine to soothe the patient's suffering so because the patient was in uh, pain in agony actually the doctor just prescribed some mm, narcotic medicine to just seethe uh, to just soothe the pain and because the pa the pa uh, the patient was in desperate or exacerbating uh, pain ex excruciating pain I'm sorry excruciating pain and it was necessary to just kill the pain that's why we have actually a narcotic could be used as a painkiller painkiller okay this was the this unit let me just hold on Uh, also you can find some other lessons the previous lessons of 504 absolutely essential words on our website and also please subscribe to our youtube channel to receive uh, further english uh, lessons that are free just subscribe and if you have any question about this actually you unit i mean uh, lesson 60 36 just leave your questions here you can even log in with your social media accounts and uh, just uh, also if you're interested you can just follow us on instagram lelb uh, dot net lelb society on instagram to receive uh, beautiful and uh, expressive flashcards that can help you to remember words better for example let me just show something else to you and uh, also on youtube as i said you can find uh, other free English lessons and also here is the uh, atmosphere atmosphere of our uh, online classes if you are interested if you really want to improve your English academically you can uh, count on our help just visit us on at LELB Society and 
uh, you can save your time and energy and money and uh, actually reach for your goals in a very perfect way thank you for uh, watching this and listening to this uh, course and see you soon